Hi everyone, this is Mr. Gibson. We'll take a few minutes and just go over the concepts we learned today to make sure you've mastered them. The first one, go ahead and pause the video in a second once you get to the multiple choice, solve it, and then pick the right solution, and then I'll show the solution uh, after you do that. So 130% means 130 out of 100. You can reduce, divide each by 10, 13 out of 10. The question says as a fraction or a mixed number. So this would be correct. A mixed number would be one and three tenths. So we'll go with the mixed number uh, for this one since it does say a uh, mixed number. All right, go ahead then and oops. still learning how to do my pen here. What percent? of 50 is 175. There's a lot of different ways to do this. What I want you to do is, uh, it says what percent. So I want you to call that your X. Think about what the word of means in math, what the word is means in math. Go ahead and write an equation and then use that equation to solve. Go ahead and pause. All right, so what percent, what tells me that's my variable? Of tells me to multiply, and is tells me to write my, write my equal sign. Instead of writing x times 50, I'm always going to write 50 times x is 175. I'll divide both sides by 50, and I get x equals 175 divided by 50. Gives me x equals 3.5. Now I have to make sure this answer is reasonable. Is that a reasonable percentage? No, I have to realize that's a decimal form. So I have to move my decimal point two places. So my answer would be 350%. Now is that a reasonable answer? Is 350%. So what percent of 50 is 175? Yes, 175 is a lot bigger. Let me try to circle this better here. So 350%. So if you double 50, that would be 100. That would be, um, so that's obviously 350 is a reasonable answer. 3.5% is not. Cindy finished 18 homework problems so far. This was 60% of her total assignment. How many total problems was she assigned? We want to start by defining a variable. X is the total number of problems she was assigned. Go ahead and try to write an equation and then use that equation to solve. So it says 60% of her total assignment. X is the total. So 60% of the total is going to be 60% times. So that would be 0 0.60 times the total, which is X. And that total is 18 problems. So let's go through that again. So 60% of the total is, there's my equal sign, 18. So that makes sense. So we do want you to be able to take English and write it as algebra. To solve this, I'll divide both sides by 0 0.60. 18 divided by 0 0.6 gives me 30. So my answer here is X does equal 30. So 30 total problems. And the last question, write an equation for this. You do not have to solve. So define your variable as x. x is the number. And go ahead and write your equation. So three less than means I have to take three away from. That's really important that you get that down. So three less than two thirds of a number. If x is my number, Two-thirds of that tells me to do two-thirds times that number. So here's three less than two-thirds the number. Is, is tells me to write my equal sign. So is 12. There is my equation. Hope this helps. Have a great day.